And next up, we have one of my favorite things from India, dosa. Look at this. Beautiful, you know, Indian crab. This one is the ghee roast. So basically, it's plain dosa with ghee, which is clarified butter. So you just break off a piece, and then you go in here into the coconut, or the coconut chutney. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, big chunks of coconut there. This one's tomato chutney, right? Yes, sir. Mm. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from West Miami Dade County, my hometown. Today, I'm super pumped because I'm doing a southern, northern Indian brunch here at Spice Magic City. They're opening up for me at 10 in the morning. We're gonna try like 12 different dishes, biryanis, dosas, curries. I am so freaking pumped. This restaurant looks amazing. It's known for being one of the best Indian restaurants in Miami-Dade County. Let's go inside, let's meet the chef, and let's eat some delicious Indian food. Follow me. And this is Spice Magic City. Huge dining hall. We have like 30 different tables. Over here to the right, they have a buffet area. Over to the left, they have a divider, and they have a few different pieces of art from India, as well as some bigger tables over here. So it's like round tables, so for family style. Over here, obviously, this is for cricket. They love cricket in India. The Jersey. All right, let's go to the back. Let's meet the chef and let's make some Indian food. And here we go in the kitchen, in the fire. Danny? Yeah. Fine. Pleasure. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yeah. What are we doing today? So we are just going to making us some special kind of things for you. So it's an Indian fusion for you. Okay. So probably I just will try to make your best for you. So everything should be mild or spicy. What kind do you like? Spicy everything. So over here we have the biryani. Yeah, biryani. So right now he's just taking out yeah, some of the seeds. And then after this you're gonna put the, the rice in yeah, here, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna layer it. Obviously biryani is layers. And over here the chef is going all out. He's making like 12 different dishes. Just non-stop garlic. So I asked him to make it spicy, and I swear to God, I'm being hit with this so much heat right now. The smell is amazing. So is this, all this is North India? India, South India, everywhere. The biryani he's making here is called the chicken biryani. So as you saw, layers, right? So the bottom, you have chicken, then he adds the rice, then he adds a few different things. Like some oil, rice, and ghee, actually. Ghee, not oil, ghee. Then you add another layer of rice. And then what he's gonna do is gonna close it and you let it sit there for how long? 30 minutes, that's it? Yeah. What are you making next? Now I'm making appetizer chicken majestic for you. And right here he's making tandoori chicken. So basically he puts the chicken on the stick, right? On the skewer and sticks it into the tandoor. And this is tandoor. So it's baking. The best. I love this. Right here, he's making a dosa. This is the ghee roast, right? Yeah. Next up, he's gonna make for me some bread. So the first bread he's making is the chili naan. So as you saw, he put some nice green peppers in it, right? Some spicy green peppers. He mushed together, then he got the, like a pillow, put it on top, and then put it inside the tandoor. That's how they make it. So we're gonna do the same thing with all of them. We're gonna put them on the tandoor. They're there for a few minutes, and they're done, and we're ready to eat. So we have three naan breads. Yeah. We have the chili naan, Garlic naan and butter naan. So the butter naan is like the plain one. They just add some butter on top. The rest of them are gonna be a little spicy. 
Okay, my friends, we have a North Southern Indian food feast for brunch. So many dishes. We have multiple chicken dishes, paneer dishes. We have the dosa, the ghee dosa looks absolutely amazing. Chicken tandoor, paneer tandoor, right? Uh, paneer tikka masala. We also have lots of different naan. So we have the spicy one, the garlic one, the plain one. I mean, everything looks amazing. Really focused on chicken, lots of chicken here. I think I'm gonna start with this one, which looks amazing. It's like cashews and chicken. Wow, it's almost like Chicken 65. If you guys don't know what Chicken 65 is, basically just like nuggets of chicken with masala, crispy, so fried, and they also add some chilies. It's the best. So this is called Guntor Chicken. Yeah, G-U-N-T-U-R. And it looks spicy. It is spicy. It's spicy? Yep. Oh, it's gonna be the best. Spicy, so this is Southern Indian. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Amazing. Mmm. Not too spicy. Love the masala. Love how crunchy it is. So it's like little bits of chicken. Mmm. The best fried chicken of all time. Mmm. Oh man. Crispy. Woo! The spice is kicking in. Now I feel it. Now I feel it. You see the oils there? Wow. In terms of spice level, I'd say this is something like a seven or eight. Not crazy spicy. Mmm. Super flavorful, very enjoyable. Wow. And I think from that, I'm leading on to this one. This is called Chicken Majestic. Wow, looks amazing. You said it's from Bangalore, right? Okay, so the difference here is it's similar to chicken, right? So it's like fried chicken bits, but then you also have curry leaves, you have onions, and you have that curry, right? It's a, almost like a yellow curry. My type of dishes, man. All these? Flavorful, crunchy, spicy. Oh, fried chicken, India. Mmm. I love how the curry's been absorbed in both the onions and and the chicken. And you have the curry leaves, a little hot. Wow. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This resembles like a a nice yellow masala curry. Difference here, heat level. A lot less compared to that one. That one's a lot hotter. But I just love the crunch of the onion. And the onion, obviously, you have it to cool down the heat. Thank you. This is awesome. Okay. I'm gonna calm down with the chicken. Now I have to jump on some of the other curry dishes. So next we have the most famous dish in the Western world, Indian food. This is butter chicken. It's always a winner, always. And this one looks a little spicy. Yep. A little spicy. Great. And then next to it, Kadai Paneer. Look at this, it looks to die for. Look how rich this sauce is. And I love paneer. Cottage cheese in India, oh, so good, man. For these two, you have to obviously try the naan, right? So get the naan, go in, get a big bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm, a little spicy, won't lie. Some chilies in here. And this is a chili naan, so it gives it some more heat. Mm-hmm. Wow. This this chili naan is crazy hot. Crazy hot. Butter chicken. The chili paneer is just super spicy. So the best thing to do is always like drown the paneer in some type of sauce. Here I have two, so it's mixed, right? Oh, it's gonna be so good. I said the flavors of India in Miami are amazing. A lot of people don't give Miami enough recognition for being a top Indian cuisine like destination. People talk about, you know, New Jersey, New York, Chicago, even Houston, but they don't talk about Miami. I'm changing your mind about that because the food here is like, it's India, straight India. And next up, we have one of my favorite things from India, dosa, look at this, beautiful, you know, Indian crab. This one is the ghee roast. So basically it's plain dosa with ghee, which is clarified butter. So you just break off a piece and then you go in here into the coconut. Or all coconut chunny. Mm-hmm, mm. Oh, big chunks of coconut there. This one's tomato chunny, right? Yes, sir. Mm, it looks spicy. 
So for me, the staple is always the coconut. The coconut's the best. When you go to Southern India, you know, starting from Hyderabad down, you're gonna have a lot of this. It's really big into Manadu. Ooh, spicy, man. Mm. The chutney. I don't know which one's hot at this point. It's probably tomato one, right? Yes. Because the coconut one, it's good, but I feel the heat is like lingering. Mmm. Look how big this is. It's massive. <laughs> I love it. Mmm. And we also have over here, staple, sambar, right? This one's a little, a little thicker. Looks more like a paste, this one. Sometimes it's soupier. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Gotta be careful with this. The heat starts sneaking up. Can't eat anymore. Mmm. And that's one thing I want to say about India. You know, people think, you know, spicy. Spicy means hot. It doesn't mean hot. It just means a lot of spices. Lots of different spices, different flavors. But it sneaks up on you if you get something that's really hot. It's not going to be like in Thailand. In Thailand, if you, if you have to say no chilies for it to be not spicy. Nice. Yummy. Ooh. You think the sandbar has a lot of heat too? I think so, right? This one feels a little spicy. I don't know, maybe it's just this. It's killing me, but I'm gonna add some coconut on top of this one. Mmm. This is the reason why I love South India so much. Dosas. Mm-hmm. Amarati chicken curry. Okay, and then over here we have lamb rogaine which is like the creamiest, curriest lamb ever. It's delicious. I've had it a few times actually in Rajasthan. Nice, look at that big, huge chunks of lamb. Delicious, bro. Wow, not too much. So this chicken curry is more like burgundy red over just regular red. I'm gonna try the lamb to start. I love lamb. Mmm. The lamb is so tender, and I love this like brownish sauce. Actually, it's almost a little sweet. It's not spicy at all. And next to it, mmm. So it's almost like butter chicken, but a little different. So it's uh, a little darker, so I feel like it's more earthy in, in sense of the curry, the actual like sauce, right? And just grab right here, and this delicious. Oh wow, look at the bones. Lamb bones right there. Every Indian dish that has curry pairs amazingly well with the bread. The bread is the way to do it. You know, most times you're not having utensils, you're gonna have bread. Mmm. There's the bones here. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is creamy and super delicious. Oh my god, but the heat, the heat of this naan. It's like too hot. Mm. Next up we have the tandoori chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. The taste from the tandoor, every time you can taste it, it's so good, it's smoky. Mm. So it comes with two pieces, the breast, and the leg. Here we go. Briani. Love Briani. Shout out to my boy Volpe. Briani King. Look at this. It's gonna go in here. The bottom, as you can see, that's where you have the chicken. So the chicken's at the very bottom. Remember, it's layered. Oh man, look at that. So this is Hyderabadi Briani. Hyderabadi Chicken Briani. If you guys don't know about Briani, that is layered rice dish from India. The most famous place in India is Hyderabad. You should go there. I went there with the Paradise Restaurant. Amazing. Mmm, mmm, saffron, onions, coriander, and then chicken, slowly just break off a piece of chicken right there. Mm-hmm, and we're doing it the western way with a spoon. Really, use the hand, just go all in. Wow, massive dish, and then you also have some basil. Mm-hmm, nice mint flavor. I'm a huge, you know, Mediterranean food lover. You know, but Indian cuisine has my heart. 
Mm. For dessert, we have a staple, gulab jamun, which is basically, this is like sugar syrup, right? And this is dough filled with sugar as well. So gulab jamun is the one, the one dish, the one dessert you're gonna find throughout India, everywhere. Mm hmm Mm. -hmm. Oh, so creamy. Super soft, lots of sugar, very, very sweet. And the next dessert we have is Ras Malai. So, wow, look at this. Like very milky, very ice cream looking. Mm -hmm. It's basically cottage cheese, so paneer, again. Similar. similar to paneer, but it has milk. It's very similar to like an ice cream with rice pudding. Like, the best comparison. So to end my brunch today, I'm having a sweet lassi, which basically has rose milk. So lassi is basically yogurt, milkish drink with delicious, look at this, the rose. Wow, super sweet. Mm. This is an amazing experience here at Spice Magic City, here in Miami. Ranks to FIU West Aid, the food variety is enormous. I mean, what I had was like 12, 13, 14 different dishes. A big mix between South and North Indian cuisines, uh, but they have a huge menu. So if you want to, you can go all out, get way more than I got. I mean, obviously for me, it's just too much. Uh, I just try everything, you know. I, personally, what I loved was that chicken from Bangalore. I love the lamb always, the dosa as well. I mean, every dish is unique, it's different. Different textures, different flavors, different spice levels, and then always cool down with this. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Peace.